earthquake and volcanic activity are common in the Philippines. Mayon volcano continues to emit pyroclastic flows. Volcanic earthquakes and 72 rockfall events have been recorded by Fibox at Mayon Volcano in Albay during the past 24 hours. Potential evacuation amid increasing activity. Authorities say the alert level for the volcano might be raised again soon after this was placed at level 3. 90 pyroclastic density currents in just 24 hours. Superheated avalanches of rock and gas racing down mountain slopes at speeds that would outrun any vehicle. A lava dome at the summit fragmenting piece by piece, each collapse sending deadly flows toward populated areas below. This isn't footage from a disaster movie or a computer simulation. This is happening right now on one of the world's most dangerous volcanoes. Mount Mayon in the Philippines has entered a phase of activity that has volcanologists deeply concerned. More than 3,500 people have already fled their homes, leaving behind everything they've built over generations. The government raised the volcanic alert to level 3 on January 6, 2026, and what scientists are observing now suggests this could be just the beginning. The speed of escalation has caught even experienced researchers off guard. In just five days, the volcano jumped from alert level 1 to level 3, a progression that typically takes weeks or months. The monitoring data reveals something extraordinary happening beneath the surface, something that could make this eruption far more dangerous than previous episodes. To understand why scientists are so concerned, we need to examine what Alert Level 3 actually means. In the Philippine Volcanic Warning System, this isn't just another number on a scale, it's a critical threshold that signals magma has reached the crater and that a hazardous eruption could occur within days to weeks. At this level, authorities mandate immediate evacuation of everyone within six kilometers of the summit. The trigger for this alert came at 12.26 p.m. on January 6. A significant portion of the summit dome collapsed without warning, sending pyroclastic density currents surging down the Bonga Gully on the volcano's southeast flank. These flows traveled at least two kilometers from the crater, moving at speeds that would have been lethal to anyone in their path. Mount Mayan rises 2,462 meters above Albay Province. It's near-perfect cone shape, making it one of the most photographed volcanoes in the world. That symmetrical beauty masks a violent history. Since 1616, this volcano has erupted more than 50 times according to historical records. Some eruptions were relatively minor, but others reshaped the landscape and claimed thousands of lives. The deadliest eruption in Philippine history occurred here on February 1, 1814. Approximately 1,200 people died as pyroclastic flows and volcanic debris buried entire towns. The church bell tower of Kagsawa still protrudes from the hardened deposits today, a haunting monument to the volcano's destructive power. The Mayon volcano in northeast Albay province has been showing signs of volcanic activity since last week. The volcano had been raised to alert level 3. Over 3,000 villagers are evacuated from a town in the Philippine province of Albay, where the Mayon volcano continues to show signs of an impending eruption. What makes the current situation particularly alarming is the pattern of activity. Rockfall events that previously occurred over two months are now happening in just days. Since January 1st, monitoring stations recorded approximately 346 rockfall events in the first five days alone. Compare that to 599 events during the entire two-month period of November and December 2025. The acceleration is unmistakable. At the summit, a lava dome continues to grow actively. This isn't like the flowing lava most people imagine from volcanoes. Instead, thick viscous magma pushes up through the crater so slowly that it accumulates into an unstable mound directly over the vent. Fresh magma rises from below, adding material from within while the outer surface cools and hardens. The structure becomes increasingly unstable with every ton of new material. When portions of this dome collapse under their own weight, they create pyroclastic density currents, among the deadliest phenomena in volcanology. These avalanches of superheated rock and gas hug the terrain, racing downhill at speeds that can reach hundreds of kilometers per hour. The United States Geological Survey reports these currents typically carry temperatures between 200 and 700 degrees Celsius, hot enough to instantly destroy anything in their path. The numbers tell a sobering story. In just 24 hours ending January 10th, 
monitoring equipment recorded 90 pyroclastic density currents on Mayon slopes, along with 150 rockfall events. The dome is fragmenting at a rate that suggests significant instability at the summit. Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology Director Teofilo Bacolcol reported that rockfall events last between 1 and 5 minutes, with debris traveling up to 1 kilometer down the southern upper slopes. At night, these rockfalls glow incandescent, visible proof that fresh hot material continues feeding the system from below. Thermal cameras positioned around the volcano capture this activity in stunning detail. The images show continuous crater glow throughout the night, newly deposited lava material, and the ongoing collapse of dome segments. On January 7 alone, 16 discrete pyroclastic density current events occurred between 12.26 p.m. and 4.30 p.m., generating ash clouds that rose 200 meters above the summit. But there's something else happening that has scientists particularly worried. Since June 2024, the entire volcano has been inflating. GPS stations detect subtle changes in the mountain's shape, while tilt meters record changes in slope angles. Electronic distance measurement systems track the spacing between fixed points and all tell the same story. The volcano is swelling outward, especially on the eastern and southeastern flanks. This long-term inflation suggests magma has been accumulating in the reservoir beneath the summit for more than 18 months. Maria Antonia Bornes, chief of the Volcano Monitoring and Eruption Prediction Division, noted this as a critical difference from previous eruptions. The prolonged inflation could mean more magma has accumulated than in typical episodes, potentially leading to a more intense eruption. The human impact is already devastating. More than 3,500 people from approximately 960 families have evacuated communities within the permanent danger zone. They left carrying whatever they could manage, clothes, documents, photographs, a few treasured belongings. Some departed before dawn, woken by urgent announcements from local officials. Others waited until the last possible moment, reluctant to abandon homes their families had occupied for generations. These evacuees now shelter across facilities in Tobacco City, Malilipot, Ligao City, Kamalig, and Guinobatan. In one affected barangay, three generations of a family packed their entire life into a single tricycle in the early morning hours. The grandmother had lived through multiple eruptions in her lifetime, watching fields buried under ash eventually turn green again. Now she watches the summit glow from an evacuation center window, uncertain when she'll return home. The shelters are filling rapidly. Government facilities provide food, water and basic sanitation, but space remains limited. Military and police personnel assist with logistics, helping families register and find sleeping areas. Governor Noel Rosal stated that relief operations can be sustained even if evacuations last for months, but the psychological toll of extended displacement weighs heavily on evacuees. <laughs> Why do people choose to live in such dangerous areas? The answer lies in the volcanic soil itself. Centuries of ash and mineral deposits have created extraordinarily fertile land. Crops grow faster and larger on these slopes than anywhere else in the region. Generations of families have farmed here, building communities in the shadow of danger because the land provides what they need to survive. Monitoring systems tracking Mayan represent one of Southeast Asia's most comprehensive volcanic surveillance networks. Seismic stations, GPS receivers, tilt meters, thermal cameras, and gas measurement systems operate around the clock. Live video feeds stream continuously from cameras positioned on the volcano's flanks. Every tremor gets recorded, every gas emission gets measured. One aspect of the current data offers limited reassurance. Sulfur dioxide emissions remain at baseline levels, measured at 195 tons per day on January 8th. Low sulfur dioxide emissions during dome growth typically indicate the magma is relatively degassed, which could mean activity will remain effusive rather than explosive. However, scientists caution that conditions can change rapidly without warning. The volcanic plume continues rising approximately 500 meters above the crater, drifting with prevailing winds. Light ashfall has been reported across several municipalities, coating surfaces with fine powdery gray material that irritates respiratory systems. For residents with asthma or other conditions, even light ashfall poses significant health risks. 
Public safety measures now affect the entire region. School classes remain suspended in affected municipalities. Entry to the permanent danger zone is strictly prohibited. Aviation authorities warn pilots to avoid flying near the summit. These aren't precautionary measures, they're essential for survival. Community preparedness has improved with each successive crisis. Residents in danger zones have participated in evacuation drills, practicing routes and procedures. Resettlement programs have already reduced the number of people living within the permanent danger zone from nearly 9,000 to current figures. Coordination between local officials, provincial authorities, and national agencies continues to strengthen. The National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council reports providing 6.62 million pesos in financial assistance to affected families. Food and relief supplies flow to evacuation centers daily, but volcanic crises don't follow schedules or budgets. Scientists continue issuing bulletins multiple times daily, documenting activity levels and reinforcing safety recommendations. They urge residents to follow official guidance and prepare for possible escalation without warning. The situation remains serious with ongoing effusive eruption, dome growth, repeated collapses, and continuous generation of pyroclastic density currents. What remains unknown is the trajectory ahead. Will the dome continue growing and collapsing in manageable pulses, gradually releasing pressure? Will the magma supply exhaust itself before reaching a critical threshold? Or will conditions escalate toward explosive activity within the days or weeks that Level 3 warnings suggest? The instruments record every signal the mountain sends, but volcanoes keep their own counsel. For now, thousands of evacuees wait in shelters, watching the horizon glow and listening for news. Emergency responders stand ready. Monitoring systems capture every tremor and exhalation. Mount Mayan, simultaneously the most beautiful and most dangerous volcano in the Philippines, continues its restless effusion. Building and collapsing, exhaling heat and ash into the tropical night. The coming days will reveal whether this episode follows familiar patterns or ventures into more dangerous territory. The mountain alone knows what comes next. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.